<laughs> How's it going, football enthusiasts? Lionel Messi gave a beautiful response to Cristiano Ronaldo's laughing emoji about the results of the 2023 Ballon d'Or. Watch this video to the end and you'll find out everything yourself. Give us a like if you watch us daily and write in the comments below who will win the next Ballon d'Or award. Without further ado, we better proceed to start. Let's get the show on the pitch. Defender Mamadou Sokho has left Montpellier after clashing with manager Mikhail Derzakarian in training. Following the incident that took place last week at the training center and for which I decline all responsibility, I've decided to end my collaboration with Montpellier Herald Sports Club. He wrote on his social media. Luis Suarez added his 10th assist of the season on Wednesday, the most in the Brasileiro. It feels there is a real divide, in my opinion, between Manchester United players and their manager. I think there are a lot of fallout behind the scenes that maybe we don't hear about. Shea Given thinks. I'm a fighter. I'm confident that I can do it, but in this moment, we are in a bad place. And as I say, I take responsibility for it. I see it as a challenge. I have to stick together with my players and we'll fight together and get better results. Eric Ten Hag claims. Aaron Ramsdale has recently emerged as a top target for Mauricio Pochettino. Chelsea do understand that taking Ramsdale for £50 million from their rivals in the middle of the season may be quite hard but are prepared to make every effort to lend him next summer. Luis Guillermo has extended his contract with Palmeiras until 2028. His release clause is now worth 55 million euros. Chelsea and Bayern Munich are actively monitoring the player. Barcelona is working to host a friendly in Dallas against Mexican Club America. The match is scheduled to take place on December 21st at the AT&T Stadium. Pedri has already had a few full training sessions, thus he will be ready to play a few minutes against Real Sociedad. Manchester United intend to recruit another striker to join Rasmus Hoyland in January. There is a feeling at the club that he would greatly benefit from working alongside a more experienced central forward. Brentford's Ivan Toni is among possible options. My favorite team is PSG, but I really like the way Barcelona plays too. Barca is the closest to my vision of football. Marco Verratti reveals. I've always said I've never felt it's about just spending money. Chelsea's example proves it time and time again, noted the head coach of Tottenham Hotspur, Ange Postecoglou. AC Milan and Juventus are weighing up an approach for Bournemouth defender Lloyd Kelly, whose contract will expire next summer. Olivier Giroud could move to MLS if he fails to secure a new deal with AC Milan. Real Madrid scouts have visited Portugal several times and are very aware of Gonzalo Inacio, but no talks to acquire him have been held yet. The footballer's contract includes a release clause of 60 million euros. Real Madrid won a sell for Lan Mandy in January, but at the moment there are no offers to convince the Frenchman. The only offer came from Saudi Arabia. Squawka has estimated teams' chances of winning the Premier League title this season. The main favorites are Man City. Their chances of winning are estimated at 60%, followed by Liverpool and Arsenal, who have 16.7%, and Spurs in fourth place with 10%. Will Vitor Roque arrive in January? If there is any possibility, we will try. If he doesn't come in January, he will be in the summer. Barcelona sporting director Deco said, Ruben Loftus-Cheek has returned to training with the rest of his AC Milan teammates yesterday. Rafael Varane is unhappy about being dropped for the Manchester Derby due to tactical considerations. De Ligt suffered a ligament injury in his right knee, which is actually a recurrence of the injury that saw the defender miss several weeks in September and October. Now he will need four to six weeks to recover. Tony Cross continues to stand tall with the best pass success rate in the final third of the pitch in the ongoing La Liga season at 93.1%. Gilles Koundé is right behind him, having 91.2%. Barcelona are keen on recruiting Royal Antwerp midfielder Arthur Vermeeren. The Belgian side warned the Catalans that there are many other suitors for the 18-year-old player. Real Madrid or Barcelona? I don't know. Both, Kvitschak Vartelia said in an interview. 18-year-old Corinthians defensive midfielder Gabriel Moscardo remains among options to boost Barcelona's squad. Bayern Munich is once again considering signing free agent Sancho back Jérôme Boateng following a potentially serious injury to Matisse de Ligt. Jérôme has been training with the second team for several weeks and is reported to be in good shape. The MLS 2023 Newcomer of the Year award was handed not to Lionel Messi. It was won by Atlanta United's Greek center forward Georgos Giacomakis who scored 17 goals and delivered 3 assists in 27 games. 
Adidas and Juventus will bring back their old logos for the Bianconeri third kit next season. Danilo has almost recovered from the injury suffered against Venezuela, but the situation got worse and the possibility of relapse began to bother the Brazilian. Danilo will definitely miss the fixture against Fiorentina. Since Harry Kane's arrival, Bayern Munich have lost the German Super Cup final and been knocked out from the German Cup. Pierre Kalulu underwent surgery to resolve the complete rupture of the tendon of the left rectus femoris. His expected recovery time is estimated to be around four months. Royal Madrid and Rodrigo Goes have reached an agreement to extend the contract of the attacker until the summer of 2028. The player's release clause is now worth 1 billion euros. I would never reject a team like Real Madrid or Barcelona. You can never reject them. There were conversations, but finally Madrid had a market option that was very good, which was to bring Alaba on a free transfer. Pau Torres shared. The Colombian government confirms that the criminal armed group Elm is responsible for kidnapping Luis Diaz's father. After five days of the man being taken hostage, there is still no updates for his rescue. Frankie de Jong's availability for the battle against Real Sociedad is rather doubtful. The midfielder has almost recovered from his ankle injury, but the final decision isn't Xavi. Casemiro has picked up an injury during the tie against Newcastle United and will miss the trip to Fulham. Folks, are you watching us without a subscription? Then it's time to fix it! Yesterday, we had a bit more domestic cup matches of the top 5 leagues to choose from. The most interesting results are right in front of you. All right. Let's move on to the main news of the release. Manchester United are considering an alternative to Eric Ten Hag, who is walking on thin ice. A high-ranking source from the club noted that Ten Hag's position was shaken by two consecutive defeats at Old Trafford against Man City and Newcastle United, as well as the worst start to a season in 61 years. The club's shortlist includes Ruben Amorim and Zinedine Zidane. However, the whole situation is complicated by the takeover of shares by Sir Jim Radcliffe who hopes to be involved in the club's sporting decisions. That was an insider from The Times. Fabrizio Romano reports, Manchester United deny any idea of contact to replace Eric Ten Hag with the new head coach. Club sources guarantee stories and new manager are categorically false. Kylian Mbappe still remains Florentino Perez's dream. Everything depends on what turns the tags between Mbappe and PSG may take, with the Parisians being aware that Real Madrid are very much waiting for the outcome of events. The Red and Blues expect the new project to somehow keep Kylian at Parc des Princes for a few more years. And Los Blancos hope Mbappe will finally be brought to the Santiago Bernabeu as a free agent next summer. Fans have spotted Kylian Mbappe's reaction to Erling Haaland being presented with the Gerd Müller Award. Upon winning the award, Haaland said, I want to thank Manchester City, the whole club. I also want to thank my family and all the people around me for making me who I am today. And some fans on social media have noted Mbappe's reaction as the Norwegian went up to collect his award. Sitting alongside City's Bernardo Silva and Rodri, Mbappe cut a glum figure, slow clapping his counterpart. One person wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter, very bored dad at recital vibes. Another said, the rivalry has already begun, the next few years will be worthwhile. A third added, it's about to be a Ronaldo Messi affair between those two. There is Bellingham there too. Mbappe should leave PSG if he really wants that award. A fourth said, Show us how you really feel, Killian. Well, a fifth added, Bro knows he has some insane competition. Lionel Messi received a gift from his Inter Miami teammates after winning the Ballon d'Or. And upon Messi receiving his eighth award, three more than anyone else, with Cristiano Ronaldo having won it five times, his Inter Miami teammates offered the Argentinian a big golden cutout of an eight, signed by the squad. While presenting Messi with a cutout, Miami goalkeeper Joey Callender said, to the best player in the world, already signed by all the players. Thank you, Leo. Congratulations again, Ocho. Lionel Messi responded to Cristiano Ronaldo's criticism after winning the eighth Ballon d'Or. We already talked about the mixed reaction of the Portuguese, when he, in fact, supported the opinion of journalist Thomas Roncero and left a comment with the laughing emojis. The Argentinian, in turn, took the high road while answering a Mundo Deportivo journalist's question regarding their battle with CR7. It was an epic battle between us. I think we benefited from each other because we are both very competitive. It was a very beautiful period for us and for those who love football in general. What we've done during all of this time is very special because, as they say, it's easy to reach the top but difficult to stay there. 
We stayed at the top for 10 or 15 years, but it was very difficult. I think it was a great thing and a beautiful memory for everyone who enjoys football. A pretty nice answer from Leo, isn't it? Press the like button if you agree. Guys, go to our Fanatico project and choose a video to your taste. Also, don't forget to subscribe as we still need your support. Well, it was football news. Be safe and we wish you all the best. See you in a bit.